The Garmin Venue 3 is a big step up from the Garmin Venue 2 for most of you. But for others, a lot of the new features are a couple of smart steps in the wrong direction. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter with my review of the Garmin Venue 3. But first, if you're not already, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, and let's get started. The Garmin Venue 3 is the latest upper mid-range fitness tracking watch in the Garmin lineup. It comes in two watch faces, a 45mm and a 41mm. On my thin wrist, the 45mm looks good, not too big or overstated, but the 41mm isn't too small on the other end. With the 45, you only get two color options, a white stone with silver bezels or this black with a stainless steel black bezel. And I'm not sure the camera is going to pick this up quite well, but the band here and the color on the back here. So this black has some hints of slate in it, so it's not a solid black. But what this does is it really helps the AMOLED screen, the dark parts of the AMOLED screen really pop. With the 41 millimeter, there are a few other color options, including gold, ivory and pink. The AMOLED is bright even on sunny days and the resolution is crisp. I haven't had any issues seeing the screen when I'm outside running in bright sun. It's good enough. It could be brighter, but it's not bad at all. Around the edge of the watch here are these hour marks. Again, a subtle but elegant design choice and you can choose from a huge number of different custom watch faces. Both watch bands are comfortable, but I give slight preference to the larger band. It doesn't quite cut into your skin, especially if you like to wear your watch tight like the smaller band does. Both are comfortable, don't get me wrong, but if comfort is a priority for you, I'd lean toward the thicker band of the 45mm. I personally also like how thin the actual watch is. The Venue 3 is only 12mm high, slightly thinner than the smaller Forerunner 265S, so although it's got a bigger watch face, it doesn't feel or fit like something massive on your wrist. The 45mm version has this grating around the edges of the stainless steel bezel that gives it some texture and a premium feel. It's a small thing, but it really enhances the aesthetic of the Venue 3. It has three buttons on the right, replaceable quick release watch bands, and a heart rate and O2 sensors on the back. The Venue 3 comes with a USB-C charging cable, but unfortunately still uses a proprietary charging connector. Now that's the same connector as many of the other Garmin watches, and I'm giving Garmin some benefit of the doubt here. I'm assuming this is for space savings here on the back, but USB-C all around would mean one less cable that you would just have to carry with you. Speaking of charging, the larger Venue 3 has up to 14 days of battery life versus 10 of the 41mm. If you use the always-on display, that drops down to about 5 days, and if you're using GPS, you'll get about 20 to 15 hours respectively for the larger versus the smaller Venue 3, and half that if you're using GPS and streaming music at the same time. Basically what that means is when you go for a walk or a run or cycling outside, the watch is going to connect to several GPS systems up in the sky and that will give you accurate location, distance and speed tracking. Now that reduces battery life to about 26 hours of GPS on time. So unless you're planning for an ultra marathon, this watch is going to get you through most workouts on a single charge. You can also load music directly onto the watch or stream music from the Venue 3 with your phone connected which cuts into the battery life again, but down to about half of GPS time, so about 12 hours. Now the Venue 2 when it came out was one of the best, if not the best fitness tracking watch for most people, and the Venue 3 has just improved across all of the fitness features of the Venue 2 and just gotten better. Garmin have kept or enhanced some of the regular features like step counting, floors climbed, and tracking calories burned. The heart rate monitor is also upgraded with new sensors to give you better tracking throughout the day and during your workouts. There are too many other tracking features to jam into this video, but stress tracking, body battery, which estimates your energy levels, and recovery times are all here. There's also sleep tracking, which includes the ability to track naps and comes with a sleep coach as well. This feature shows you whether or not you're on target to get your recommended amount of sleep every night. Now, another interesting feature is the jet lag mode. So if you take the watch, and then you enter in a trip, let's say you're going from New York to Los Angeles, you enter that trip in your phone, and then the watch is gonna calculate and give you a bunch of metrics when you should be sleeping, when you might wanna exercise, when you might wanna reduce your daylight or increase your daylight exposure, all that it shows you in the watch through this jet lag mode. Now the jet lag mode isn't gonna cure jet lag, jet lag is undefeated, but it is useful for reminding you that it takes some time and effort to recover from. And like I said, when it comes to fitness features, the Venue 3 has only gotten better. There are more than 20 sports on here. There's a strength training mode, so you can put this 
when you're wearing the watch and you go to the gym and you're doing a bunch of lifts, let's say you're doing squats and deadlifts or bicep curls or whatever, the watch, based on your movements, based on the gyroscope inside of the watch, is going to calculate and estimate what exercises you're doing. Now, you can always go in through the Garmin Connect app and just correct it or, you know, put the number of sets that you did. But on most occasions, for most basic workouts, if you're doing like eight reps of deadlifts, for example, it's going to know that and calculate that automatically and then give you a list and a breakdown of your workout on the watch. And also includes some other really smart features like auto detect when you're walking or running. So you don't have to manually start a run or a walk. You can just keep this on your arm. And when you start walking after a few minutes, it's going to know that you're going for a longer walk or a longer run. And it's going to start tracking that activity for you automatically. So that's a lot of great fitness features. But where the Venue 3 really diverges from the Venue 2 are the smartwatch features. Garmin has added some new hardware to make this happen. In particular, a microphone and a speaker. So you can now make and take calls directly from the Venue 3 and configure it to work with your phone's voice assistant. The speaker in the watch can also play music as well, though I'm not sure this is a feature you'd use often. It's there if you want it. To support a lot of the smartwatch features though, you'll need your phone nearby since the Venue 3 doesn't have LTE support, which is common among many other smartwatches. I know a lot of people were looking for more smartwatch features in the Venue 2, which is why Garmin came out with the Venue 2 Plus, and now the Garmin Venue 3 continues that shift toward adding more smartwatch features into the watch itself. If you're an Android user, you can receive and send text messages. If you're an iOS user, you can't send text messages. Thanks, Apple. But you can make and take calls. You can dial calls or just look through your contacts and make calls with the watch. So Garmin have added a lot of smartwatch features into the Venue 3. To me, the Garmin Venue 3 is a natural extension to Garmin's lineup. They're adding more smartwatch features, which is something a lot of people were asking for. But personally, I don't like my fitness tracking watch to have a lot of smartwatch features. And if you're in that boat, you can take a look at the Forerunner series or the Venue 2, which is still on sale. Or you can just disable all the smartwatch features in the watch itself. For everyone else, though, if your focus is fitness and you want some smartwatch features in your fitness tracking device, the Garmin Venue 3 is, like I said, probably the best smartwatch you can get right now. If you don't want the smartwatch features, you can disable them. But if you like the idea of being able to make and take calls from the watch itself, being able to see who's texting you, send texts back, and you like that this has a microphone and a speaker as well, and you might be streaming music and listening to this while you're going for a longer run, then the Garmin Venue 3 is probably the best smartwatch for you. Don't get it mixed up, though. This is really a fitness-focused smartwatch with some smartwatch features rather than a smartwatch with some fitness-focused features, if that makes sense. So I would break it down like this. If you're already using a Garmin watch, but you really want to make and take calls from the watch itself, then this is a worthy upgrade depending on your budget. If you're already using the Venue 2 and you don't really care about the extra smartwatch features, then I would say this is kind of an incremental update. I mean, there are some great fitness tracking features here. There's an upgraded sensor, all those things, but it's not really an obvious upgrade that you need to make right now. Now, if you're using one of the SQ series, then the Garmin Venue 3 is going to be a major leap up in terms of functionality and features. It is double the price, more or less, but still, like I said, it is a major upgrade. And if you're looking to kind of enhance your fitness watch tracking ability, you want some smartwatch features, then the Venue 3 is going to be a big leap up from the SQ series. And if you're someone who's already using a smartwatch, like an Apple Watch, Samsung, Google Watch, then the Venue 3 is really not a lateral move because it's really a different category of device. I mean, you're not going to be able to send an receive emails from this device. You're not going to be able to do a lot of the things that you could do on an Apple Watch, for example. But with each iteration of smartwatch, they get more and more fitness features. And with each iteration of a fitness-based watch, like this Venue 3, you get more and more smartwatch features. So that overlap, that Venn diagram, starts to kind of merge closer and closer together. And there's more and more overlap which may or may not be a good thing, depending on how many smartwatch features you want in your fitness-focused watch. That's my review of the Garmin Venue 3. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week, and I'll see you in the next video.